let me show you a free open source newsletter and mailing list manager the only cost that you're going to have is your hosting provider where you are going to host list monk now this is open source so no payment required at all it's a great option if you want to have privacy security and best of all less payments the only payment that you're going to have is your hosting provider but if you have several websites applications in that host well costs are going to be practically free so how do you install list monk on your hosting provider well you're going to need a bps a docker now in this case i'm using hostinger and they are actually the sponsor for this so let me show you their bps plans that are really affordable right now they are running the black friday sale so you're going to grab the lowest price in the year their prices start from 4.99 and all the way up to 19.99 Plus, there's a coupon code that you can apply that the price is going to drop even more. Now, you can grab the most popular plan, which is two CPU cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 100 gigabytes of NVMe storage, which is more than enough to host this month. It's a good choice. So let's go ahead and choose this one, and let me show you how to apply the coupon code. Now, the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus, this is the price that you're going to get right now. But if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in, you're going to apply it and the price is going to drop to $140 with 18 cents. So that's two years paid off for a BPS plan. Now, if you want to install Docker right from the beginning to install all your GitHub repositories, including ListMonk, I do recommend that you do it from the beginning. Go to applications, select Docker and go through the process and just go ahead and make your purchase and Docker will be available for you. That way, inside of your hosting drum, hosting gear, you'll find the Docker manager where you can install multiple GitHub repositories. In this case, we want to install ListMonk. To do that, we're going to go to GitHub and we're going to search for ListMonk. Once you are here, go ahead and click on code and grab this link right here. So let's go back into our Docker manager over here. Let's go into compose, compose from a URL and paste in our link right here. I'm going to remove dot git. We, we don't need that. And I'm going to put here list monk 2 let's go ahead and deploy and that is going to be installed right here now in this case i already have list monk installed i'm going to be able to access it straight from here and i'm going to access it through my ip address which you could do too so i'll just go ahead and click right here if you have a domain go ahead and connect it and you'll be good to go now in this case this is the first time logging into list monk so the first thing it's going to ask me is my login credentials so i can keep on logging in later on so i'm going to click on login I'm going to set my details here username i'm going to say sas master password i'm just going to add my email again just for testing purposes and i'm going to continue i am now going to be able to log in to list monk really easily now i have access to list monk to start using right away remember this is hosted on my hosting plan i don't have to make any month-to-month -month payments to list monk so now i have access to the dashboard to view my analytics for my newsletters and i can go ahead and create my list so i'll create list to keep everything organized that way i'll send my subscribers from a website into one list a subscriber from another website from a giveaway list etc and create my list here to organize there's also an option to create forms there's subscribers so you can view all your subscribers right here you can import to subscribers so via a csv a zip file go ahead and bring them inside of here to add subscribers or block list so if you already have a block list that's also useful here you have your status to make them unconfirmed confirmed you want them to overwrite in case there's new ones and the csv delimiter in this case it's just a comma so you have your option here to add your subscribers with the csv and here's a quick format for the raw csv then you have your bounces options here where you can view them you have your campaign to start off your campaign we can create a brand new campaign really easily here on list mug so you add your details here then you jump into the content and then you jump into sending that off in this case let me go ahead and test this out Okay, so I just filled out these details. I don't want to send it right now. I'll set send it later and I'm going to set for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and continue. And then we go into the content. You have the option for using rich format, raw HTML. So if you already have an email template with HTML, you can bring it inside of here, plain text and visual. Plus you have your preview available here to view how it's going to actually view to the end user. So it's really easy to, add, to create your email right here. I know it's not in advanced option like other builders but remember this is free and it's list monk then you have your media where you can view all the media that you've uploaded in case you want to use that later on a templates available here there's some default templates that you can check out for example this one let's go ahead and preview this it's pretty much basic format nothing fancy here i wish they add more templates from the beginning 
but I guess that's what you're gonna get with this free open source. Then you got your analytics, you got your user list here. You can create as many users as you want. There's no limits because this is self-hosted. So in here, you can create as many as you want, including API access. So it's a good option that it's not going to limit you in that case. User roles, list roles, and your settings for the settings for the, the website. Change the root URL in case you already have a domain and you want to use that. Your performance settings, security, everything's going to be available here. This is a really important one, the SMTP one. Your maintenance options, your logs, and on the right, you have your profile settings. So all the details you need for your newsletters straight from ListMonk. So it's a good option if you're looking for a free alternative that doesn't limit you on the amount of emails, the amount of sent emails, the amount of users. That is where this is going to shine. So it's a free open source version that you can start using right now and install it on your hosting or Docker. Remember, the beauty about this is that you can install multiple applications from GitHub in this Docker. So it's not just one. You can install as many as you want here in the Docker manager. Just be aware of your BPS sources from the BPS plan that you've selected. And if you plan to grab a BPS plan, don't forget to use my coupon code SASMaster. And that's a wrap for ListMonk.